Can you give me some examples of bridge building involving academic interchanges? Yes, indeed. Uh, one of the important uh, uh, bridge building exercises was academic exchange, <coughs> where academics from Britain uh, go to China and academics from China have come to Britain. And we engage in conversations which normal faithful would also be involved in, but with a little twist and kind of an academic twist. So we had a, t a team from, from uh, China, from two of the major universities, from the Catholic Church, and uh, we came and we had conversations in Oxford University, Cambridge University, Liverpool University, Liverpool Hope University, um, Heathrop College, and the Bishops' Conference. And there the exchanges were about Christian living uh, in a in an academic way, if you can talk about Christian living in an academic way. But it was d discussing the factors, the ins and out, the whys and the wherefores, and uh, the, the truths involved. So you had the Chinese people telling their story, and you had the British people telling their story. You had one extraordinary situation when we had a British team in, 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 uh, in, in China, <clears throat> and we were in a faith exchange with a group of women. and. Um, it, I have never seen Catholic bishops anywhere in the world talking personally about their faith, but the whole ethos of the meeting had the two bishops who were with us at that time speaking in an extraordinary personal way about their faith. <clears throat> I was very proud of them actually. And uh, then at the end, <coughs> sorry, at the end, um, one of our teachers, uh, one of the sisters from our group, asked a woman how she managed to keep her faith in the face of all the harassment, sexual and other oppressions she had to cope with. And she congratulated her on keeping her faith. And the woman simply responded, look, please don't congratulate me. I was able to keep my faith because of the power of God working in me. And she said then, because of the prayers of the Universal Church. And at that point, I remembered my mother and grandmother who used to have dozens of prayers at the end of our rosaries, and we hated them because it made the rosary twice the length it was. And now, then I said, my goodness, so something did happen, and this is the effect of it.